What's going on everybody? What's going on YouTube world? Austin Zabak coming to you live with another YouTube video and uh, I just wanted to show you guys actually how to comp deals. So if you're hopping into this video, uh, if you're watching it on replay, then uh, make sure you stick around because I'm going to show you how to comp deals. I'm going to talk to you about kind of some of my secrets uh, and if you're a real estate agent, if you're a real estate investor, if you're a wannabe wholesaler, if you're a wannabe real estate agent, a wannabe real estate investor, whatever you are, uh, if you're anything in real estate, you want to buy multifamily, you want to do creative deal structure, no matter what it is that you want to do, you have to know how to comp deals. So let's jump right into it. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure everything's working here. Uh, everything looks like it's working good. Let me make me a tiny bit smaller here so we can see the screen better. Uh, perfect. And then let's hop over here to Instagram for a minute. Um, and all right, guys. Uh, if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm always doing cool stuff on Instagram. I pretty much post uh, stories here daily, so definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, I try to post pictures uh, pretty often as well, so uh, definitely check me out there, guys. Uh, make sure YouTube is looking good. YouTube's looking good, and let's go ahead and go pull up the MLS. So uh, for me, I'm going to comp using the MLS, okay? Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. If you're not a licensed real estate agent, then there's two things that I would suggest you do. Number one, get access to a real estate agent's MLS, okay? Um, get assistant access, something like that, okay? Now, <clears throat> you know, just, just see if they're okay with it, okay? I'm not saying that this is, you know, the right or, or wrong thing or, or whatever. I'm just saying that people do it and potentially you could too, okay? Um, if you're not comfortable doing that, which is totally fine and totally understandable, then, you know, obviously get your real estate license and or, um, you know, you can basically just have a real estate agent do this for you, but you may need to teach them because a lot of real estate agents don't know how to comp properly, okay? So I'm gonna hop into the MLS here. I'm gonna hop over here to Monsoon. Monsoon in Arizona is basically a, a tax assessor's website essentially built in to the MLS, okay? So uh, we have this within the MLS, but you could always just go to Google here and you can type in, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever you're at, right? So Arizona, um, you know, county assessor, right? Uh, and here we go, Arizona county assessor. And uh, here we go, and boom, search for parcels, addresses, and more. Now you could do this with any state, obviously. Uh, you know, I do deals everywhere. I mean, you can type in, um, let's see, where's another market that I'm at? Uh, Birmingham, um, Alabama County Asse Tax Assessor, okay? Here we go, uh, Jefferson County, and we can hop in here. Everyone's gonna look a little bit different, so don't get freaked out, okay? Uh, see how much different this looks than the last one that we were just on? They all, are going to look a little bit different. So don't, don't get freaked out, it's no big deal, okay? Everyone essentially does the same thing. So uh, I'm gonna hop in here to my MLS, okay? This is actually my MLS, um, and I'm gonna hop over here to uh, Monsoon, again, which is a tax assessment website. For the purpose of this video, I actually have a uh, property that I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys. So I'm gonna bring that up here, um, and I'm gonna use this property right here, okay? So just for the purpose of this video, we're going to use this property. So we got 3322 North 15th Ave. Okay. Now, uh, just so you guys know, I actually have not comped this uh, before. Okay. This is one of my very good friends' deals. And um, let's see, 3322. I don't know where the heck I got that. 3322 North 15th Ave. This is one of my very good friends' deals. Uh, he just actually um, sold the deal this week. And so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and comp it really quick. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you guys basically how I would comp this deal. Okay. And essentially, um, you know, a little bit about it. So here's what happens. So when you're, you're a wholesaler, this is a whole, let's say, let's pretend this is a wholesale deal. Now this could be, if you're a real estate agent, I'll show you how to comp this as well. But let's say that we're wholesaling this. Okay. What do we need to get it at? Now, wholesaler sends this to me, but let's say you're direct with the seller. You do some marketing. Uh, you get directed to the seller. You're a real estate agent. Maybe you want to list the house. Uh, whatever the case is, you, you need to tell your friend what it's worth. Uh, in this scenario, a wholesaler sent me the deal. Okay, uh, three, He sends me the address, right? Tells me the details. 
Three bedrooms, one bathroom. 1,510 square feet living area per tax records, okay? Plus a 720, foot square, a 720 square foot guest house uh, living area. Uh, 6824 lot size, 1947 year build, so old house. Uh, wholesale price is two twenty nine nine, and he this particular wholesaler thinks the after repair value is three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so a couple of things I want to do here. Uh, number one, I want to go ahead and pull this this property up. Okay, and whatever whatever uh, tax assessor website uh, MLS. If you have access to MLS, if you're sitting next to a real estate agent, uh, if you have uh, you know whatever the case is. Okay, you want to pull this up and you want to look dive dive a little bit deeper into this. And I'm going to pull one more thing up here that I believe that I uh, screenshot it. Okay, maybe I didn't. All right, never mind. Oh wait, no, actually it's down down here. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is uh, when I got this, what I did was I clicked on the Dropbox link, okay? So typically if it's a wholesaler, um, they're gonna send you pictures. If it's an MLS deal, uh, you, you gotta find, you gotta know what kind of condition the property's in, right? You have to know what kind of condition the property's in in order to put a proper value on the deal. So here's the, here's the property, okay? Front of the house. Now in Arizona, in this part of town, it's pretty normal, okay? Look at the side. Side needs a lot of work here, okay? Uh, stucco, not, not a big deal though, okay? Uh, see, you know, look at these. The windows, single pane windows, okay? Needs paint. Soltillo tile. That all needs to be jackhammered out. All new kitchen, new bedrooms. Uh, the, the ceiling's completely messed up. Uh, tons of water damage here, as you can see, all this water damage. We got brass. Um, you know, it is just an old house, guys, okay? Nothing wrong with it. There's a lot of money to be made here. I see money here, okay? This is an investment deal, okay? If you're a real estate agent, I'm a real estate agent too. I sell high and luxury real estate. I sell everything in between, $100,000 houses to, uh, you know, $5 million houses. But, um, this is probably going to end up selling to an investor, okay? So if you're a real estate agent, just understand that. Uh, you can see kind of why when you look at this property. All right, not a big deal though. This, this is money to me. I like this. This is money, okay? So we're going to look at this again. 33, okay, so three bedrooms, one bathroom, 1,510 square foot with a 720 foot guest house. Okay, let's go back here to tax records. It backs up to a main road. First thing I noticed, backs up to a main road. I would knock... 10% off for it backing up to a main road, okay? Let's go over here to calculator and uh, let's pull this up here, all right? So, make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see naturally it wants to go away. Calculator, let's see if it'll let me make it bigger. Okay, calculator doesn't, doesn't, like, to, uh, doesn't like to get bigger. Okay, no problem. All right, so backs up to main road, okay? Uh, 1,510 square feet. Now, what I'm going to start doing, and this is because I, I comp things very quickly, okay? I, I could run a comparable analysis here, okay? And I could run a full comparable analysis. So if you're a real estate agent and you're like, awesome, why are you not running a full comparable analysis on the deal? I can do that, okay? And I will do that if it's a higher end, a luxury deal. I need to present this to my clients, okay? So if any way, shape, or form, I got to present this to somebody, okay? And, and I got to make it look good. Then I'm gonna run a comparable analysis, I'm gonna make it look extremely pretty, and I'm gonna present it to them, okay? And that's a whole nother conversation. It's very easy to do. Uh, your real estate agent can do that for you. Uh, you can do that if you're a real estate agent, etc. For the purpose of this deal, or for the purpose of you just needing to comp something to know, again, what is this property worth? In current market conditions, what is it worth? What would it be worth if it was, if it was fixed up, okay? Then you're just gonna do it quick, okay? It's on 15th Ave and Osborne. I know without a shadow of a doubt, I can stay in between Osborne, 15th Ave, 19th Ave, and Thomas Road for sure. And I could probably even get outside of that, okay? I could probably, I could probably get outside of that. But I know for sure that I can stay within this one square mile. Because within this one square mile, most likely everything's, you know, basically the same thing, obviously, except for, you know, these condos over here and, uh, and what have you, right? So let's hop in here. 1,500 square feet. Now I happen to see this one, 2,100 square feet, okay? Main house, 2,100 square feet, sold for $436,000. Let's click on it, okay? I wanna know more about it. It jumps a little bit, boom, 2,300 square feet, okay? All right, it's nice, look at the pictures. It's been remodeled a while ago, probably. Uh, very niche remodel, 
Okay, this is a remodel that you know not every buyer is gonna like. Okay, but you know for the purpose of this video, this thing did sell for four hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars. So let's go ahead and pull up a doc here, just so you guys can understand this. So we have one that sold for four hundred and thirty-six thousand. We'll we'll use, we'll we'll use that as a comp because it is bigger. But um, but it's not as nice as you could make ours, okay? It's not as nice as you could make ours. So we'll, we'll, we'll use that as a comp. I like that. Okay, let's go back. So we're comping. $436,000. We'll, we'll say comp uh, one is $436,000. Again, uh, it is bigger, the main living area, but we have a guest house, and this one's not as nice as we're going to make ours, okay? Uh, let's go ahead go back over here. Let's do, let's do three, four of these, okay? I'm going to show you guys. Okay, these are active. The green ones are active. This one just got remodeled. Look at this, okay? Could we use it as a comp? Potentially, it's active. It hasn't sold yet. Very nice house, guys. Look at this. Okay, this thing just got remodeled. Boom. Beautiful, okay? Look at this. Check this out, guys. Gorgeous house. Okay, just remodeled. Now, I want to know a couple of things, okay? I want to know, I'm going to go up here, and I want to know how long it's been on the market. It's active, okay? It's active right here. It's been on the market for 61 days. It's been on the market for two months, okay? Original list price was 475000 Current list price is 469000 okay? I don't know that I'm going to consider that a comp, to be honest with you. Uh, it's been on the market for 61 days. It, it, it helps our, our, our uh, situation by a lot. 469,000, but let's uh, let's keep looking here. 1,800 square feet, under contract, 395, okay, I like this. Under contract for 395, okay, check it out. It's, no, it's decent, it's nothing crazy, okay, it's nothing crazy. Just a decent house under contract for 395. I'll, I'll call that comp number two, okay? It's not, we don't know what it's going to close for, okay? It could close for less, um, but let's call that a comp for the purpose of this video. I want you guys to understand something that, you know, sometimes when you're doing this, you can't take a million hours, okay? Uh, it depends on what you're, again, if you're, if you're preparing this for a client or something like that, then yes, take your time, do a comparable analysis. If you're a real estate agent, I get it. 1,800 square feet, 350, okay? It's, it looks like 350 to 400 is starting to be the number. Am I right? Fully remodeled. 350 to 400 is starting to be the number. There's a lot of guest houses in this neighborhood, okay? I can tell you that. 1,500 square foot, 329, okay? Sold for 329. Let's check it out. Let's make sure we're still looking good here. Okay, we're still looking good. Still streaming. Uh, we can still hear me. Let's go over, hop over to YouTube. Okay, everything's still looking good. Hey, Austin, new here. How much should I, how much should I start with? Josh Curry, uh, go ahead and uh, let me know what you're talking about, brother. I do not know what you're talking about. Let's go ahead and hop into here. Okay, remodel, remodel, guys. Fifteen fifty, no guest house. Sold for three thirty, and it's a decent remodel. Nothing to brag about. Okay. They didn't, they didn't knock down any walls. Uh, the, the floors are still tan. Okay, the, the ceiling fans are still white. The doors don't have the, the holes. I mean, this is a decent remodel. Okay, this is nothing crazy. They didn't go overboard here. Okay, this is just, this is your average remodel. And it sold for $330,000 with no guest house. Okay, comp three sold for $330,000. No guest house though. Okay, so so that's why I like to go high and low. Okay, what if we just did the math on three? Okay, let's just see. Calculator. $436,000 plus $395,000 plus $330,000. Well, at $333,000. Okay, let's do this one more time. Four hundred thirty-six thousand plus three ninety-five plus three three zero 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 equals divided by three equals three hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, so if I just did quick numbers, I would put the ARV 
of this house at 300 and let's say $85,000, okay? That's what I would do if I just did quick math here, okay? $385,000, boom. Guys, I didn't overthink this, okay? I did not overthink this. I didn't overcomplicate it, okay? A lot of you guys, you want to overcomplicate it. You want to make it really complicated, and while that's fine, but if you're just trying to comp quickly, again, now I know the area. You're going to get good at this. It's going to take you some time to get used to, but understand if you comp enough properties, you're going to get used to this. I know that this is pretty dang close, okay? It's pretty close. It might be a little bit less, but it's pretty dang close. If you did it, if you did a nice, a very nice remodel on this property, you could get three hundred eighty-five thousand all day for it. All, probably more than that because you got the guest house. Okay, probably more than that. Uh, let's check and see what our what our what our what our, our buddy said here. Okay, he says uh, ARV three hundred fifty thousand. Okay, you see it's right here. So you know ARV three hundred fifty thousand. Okay, ARV three eighty-five. Uh, let's go ahead and just say. Calculator. Uh, let's say three hundred eighty-five thousand times, let's say uh, seventy-five percent is what an investor would want it at two eighty-eight seven fifty. Okay, and then you just subtract out um, so two eighty-eight seven hundred fifty. Okay, I just did seventy-five percent. Uh, uh, let's just say the investor wants seventy-five percent. Sometimes they'll go eighty. Heck, I've seen them go up to eighty-five percent. Okay, but let's just say seventy-five percent. Sometimes they want less, sometimes they want more. Depends on the market you're in is where the investor investor needs deal okay now we got to subtract out repair repairs here again this is very conservative okay very conservative here um, two hundred and eighty eight seven fifty uh, let's just say let's let's do, let's do this let's do 25 bucks a square foot times um, let's just do 1,510 square foot. Let's just talk about the house for a minute, okay? We're not going to talk about the guest house because none of these had them. So let's talk about the house for the purpose of this conversation, 37750 uh, So rehab costs, let's say rehab costs are $40,000, okay? Simple math, simple math. I'm not overcomplicating this. I could get way more detail-oriented if I needed to, but again, I know my market. I've done this a million times. And for the purpose of this conversation, I'm not going to get too detail-oriented because I don't want you to. Because if we want to get extremely detail-oriented, we're going to go in here, we're going to run a comparable analysis, and we're going to break it all down. We're going to spend an hour, and that's going to take forever. That's fine if we need to do that, but we don't need to do that for the purpose of this conversation, okay? We don't need to do that. So um, for the purpose of this conversation, we have 288,750. Um, I'll just go back to the calculator. It would be nice if I didn't have to type this in every time. 288. Seven hundred and fifty dollars minus forty grand equals two forty-eight seven fifty. So now the investor needs this thing at two hundred and forty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay, two hundred forty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Let's say the investor. Let's just put it in here. Let's say the investor needs to. Uh, you know he's gonna he's got some realtor fees and uh, closing costs. Okay. Uh, let's times that by 8%. 288, oh, yeah, sorry, 248, 750 times 8%. 3% to the buyer, 3% to the seller, 2% in closing costs, 19,900. Okay, minus 19,900 equals, okay, let's see, let's check it out. Calculator, so we got 248. 750 minus 199, 228.850. Okay, 228. And again, guys, I'm being conservative here. I really am. Okay, I promise you. Investor needs deal 40, 40 grand in re, rehab costs, not including guest house. Okay, even though there are a lot of guest house in the neighborhood. The investor needs this thing at 228 850 Now, if you were a wholesaler, let's just talk to you wholesalers for a minute. Wholesaler needs to make, let's say, what, what do you want to make, wholesaler? What do we want to make? Let's say wholesaler wants to make $10,000. Uh, let's, let's just say for the purpose of this conversation, wholesaler wants to make $5,000. Okay. Now we got to do 228 850 
minus $5,000 equals 223,850. Okay, 223,850 is what we want to offer the people right here, guys. Right here, 223,850 equals MAO, which stands for maximum allowable offer. Okay. This is what we need the deal for right here if we're a wholesaler, okay? 223850. Let's see. Again, conservative. Okay, I could spend more time on this. I really could. Okay. Let's just go back over here. And he sold or wholesale price is 200 229 9. Okay, we're not off. We're not off a ton of money here. Okay? We're not off a ton of money. That was me doing quick numbers. Okay, 2299 and I have 223850. Okay, I mean, we're talking six grand. This is not a big deal. Okay, six grand, we can figure this out. We can make this deal work. This is a deal. We can make this happen. Okay, so I just want you to understand that. I want you to understand that you can comp a property that quick. Now, if you're an agent, okay, you don't need this. Okay, um, you don't need uh, you, you don't need the the seventy five percent. Okay, so this is this is uh, right here seventy five. Uh, percent equals uh, this number right here. Okay, guys, from this number right here, 75% of this number equals this number. If you're a real estate agent listing the property, if, if an investor is not going to buy it, let's say a homeowner is going to buy this, okay? But let's say we're selling this property to a homeowner. He's still going to do the rehab, by the way. This house needs to be rehabbed. I doubt anyone's actually going to live here based on the pictures, okay? Anybody's actually going to buy it and live there. Uh, but the, the, the new owner, does. they don't need to make you know, they're going to make money in, in equity, right, as the property values go up over time. Does that make sense? So they don't need 75%. Maybe they need 90%. Maybe they, maybe 95 works for them. Okay, this changes the whole ballgame. Let's talk about it for a second. Calculator, okay, 95%. Let's, what, what, let's say $385,000 times, uh, let's say, 90%, just, for, just, just to be nice, 346500 okay? Now we're talking different numbers, $346,500. Is what is what the um, uh, whole is what the uh, uh, traditional traditional buyer needs property at. Okay. Now he's not worried about uh, the the right. He's not worried about this. Okay. He's not worried about eight percent. He's not worried about real about realtor fees because he's buying the deal. He gets a free buyer's agent. Okay. He's not worried about seller agent fees because he's not. That's not happening. Right. So he's not worried about any of that. He's worried about rehab costs, okay? He's worried about, he's not worried about what a wholesaler needs to make because he's not, that's not happening, right? He's just worried about rehab. Costs. We could bump this up to 60 grand, okay? We, we could bump this up to 60 grand real easily. We could bump this up to 75 grand. We bump this up to whatever we need to bump it up to, 346,500 uh, minus, uh, let's, say, let's say 50 grand, okay? It doesn't matter. 296,500. 296500 is what the traditional buyer might pay. Right? And why wouldn't you? And why wouldn't you? Okay? So I just want you to understand, that was me coming into Monsoon, okay, tax assessor website. Okay, we can always do a different tax assessor. My Monsoon is inside of my Flex MLS, okay, my armless. I'm a real estate, licensed real estate agent. I go over here to Monsoon. Tax assessor, boom. I stay within the parameters, okay? I'm only looking at things that are comparable, okay? 1,510 square feet. I looked at some other stuff right here. 1,600 square feet, sold for 395, right? Okay, this one's a bigger lot. I can tell just by looking at it. Okay, look at the lot size, lot size. We're on a main road. Take 10% off for, for being on a main road, okay? 10% is the go-to, okay, right here. I don't know why my MLS is doing that. It's crazy. 2,000 square feet, bigger house, okay? Bigger house, not as nice is what we're going to make ours. 1,800 square feet. Sold for, uh, that one wasn't remodeled at all. 1,500 square feet. 324. Okay. Not that nice. I can tell just by looking at it, right? So understand how to look at these properties. Okay. Understand how to comp a deal. It's not too hard. Again, what you can always do is you can always, you can always, 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 uh, I'm not, I'm not going to write it down. You can always get another agent involved. Okay. Uh, you, if you're an agent, you can be involved. 
uh, okay, you can you can you can run a full comparable analysis, guys. You can run a full comparable analysis if you need to. We can go, we can comp this deal right here. This isn't even a full comparable analysis. This is just a basic comp. Okay, we got high of 424, low of 355. Boom. What? Click of a button. Okay, this isn't even a full comparable analysis. Okay, located within a half mile, lot size plus minus uh, 20 square feet. Ignore pool rooms. Okay, sold in the last 12 months. Let's go sold in the last six months. Okay, let's see. What does it change? Okay, we got to apply this. Hold on, where do we apply this? Right here. Okay, 424, 355. Didn't change a whole lot. Okay, building size. Look, we could do 10% instead of 20%, plus minus. Okay, 424, 355. Right? So, and it's basing, it's pulling from these comps right here. Boom. It's going a little bit outside of where I told you guys to go. Okay, I said we should stay inside here. It's pulling two comps from inside there, and then, but it's still staying right here, right? Indian School, I know the area, 17th Ave, uh, in between 19th Ave. Okay, we can pull from over here. It's not a big deal. So depending on what market you're in, understand what you can and can't do, right? Okay, so this is how we comp properties, guys. Josh Curry, I'm looking into wholesaling. I don't have a real estate license. You don't need a real estate license to, uh, to, to comp properties. You don't need a real estate license to wholesale deals. You do not need a real estate license. However, I would I would suggest if you're watching this, get your real estate license. Okay, get your freaking real estate license. It's easy. It's so freaking easy. Why wouldn't you do it? It's free money. It is free freaking. If you sold one deal a year, you pay a one hundred thousand dollar deal a year. If you sold a hundred thousand dollars worth of real estate a year, I mean, come on, you pay for your real estate license and some. It's a no brainer. It's free money. Join a team. Learn the ins and outs. It's free money. Make 40, 50, 60, 75, 80 grand a year. It's not that difficult, okay? I can show you how. I'm dropping a real estate course in two weeks. Best real estate course on the planet by a millennial for a millennial. Check it out, okay? Learn how to be a badass real estate agent. Do it all. Figure out how to wholesale, right? Okay, let's figure out how to do this, okay, right here. Let's figure out how to do this. Let's figure out how to list it. Let's figure out how to show buyers properties, sell properties, be a buyer's agent, seller's agent, wholesaler, investor, rehabber, fix and flipper. Maybe you want to get some buy and hold, some multifamily, do it all, right? Do it all, but be an agent. Go get your license. Be a real estate agent, okay? Um, you just have to disclose that you're a real estate agent when you're doing wholesale deals, okay? So make sure that you do that. But, but guys, this is how you comp a property. This is very simple. Again, you don't need to be an agent. You can do this. Um, there's a number of ways to do this. So uh, listen, guys, I know this was a long video, and I can do a ton more videos on real estate. So if you like this, please, I really encourage you, please, 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 please drop in the comments below what kind of real estate videos you'd like to see. You want to know how to sit in an open house, how to master sitting in an open house. We'd love to do a video on it. You want to know how to show a buyer a property effectively and how to sell them the dream. I, I can do a video on that. You want to show uh, how, how to go into a listing presentation and dominate a listing presentation. I can do a video on that. You want to know how to how to find buyers, okay, for, for wholesale deals. I, I can do a video on that. You want to know how to find sellers for wholesale deals. I can do a video on that. What do you want? What are you looking for? You want more entrepreneur stuff, uh, more Audi R8 stuff. Uh, we start an exotic car rental company recently. Start an exotic car rental company. You want to know, you know, how much I bought the R8 for, how I bought the R8, how, how I got the loan, whatever it is that you're looking for, okay? Um, you know, how to stay motivated, okay? How to, how, to, how, to, how to go to the gym, how to have good relationships, how to, how to stay happy, how to stay positive. How, what, are, what, are, what can I do for you guys? I've been an entrepreneur for 15 years, okay? If you know my story, uh, you, you can go back and, and watch, but I've been an entrepreneur for 15 years. I started my first company, I was eight years old, living in my grandparents' garage, and I've been through a thing or two. Now, uh, I'm still nowhere near my dreams and goals, but let me tell you, if I can help you in any way, shape, or form with something that I've done that you haven't done, something I've been through that you haven't been through, to help you not go through it, I'd love to do that every single time. So let me know. Please drop in the comments below of what you guys would like to see. Let's interact. Let's hang out. I'm starting a Facebook group soon. Okay, it might be like Facebook. Um, there's a couple other ones I'm looking into, but stay tuned for that. If you purchase my real estate mastery course in two weeks, You'll automatically, I, I believe, don't, don't quote me on this, you should automatically have access to that. It might be a small monthly charge, but 
Um, you should have access to that. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be amazing. It's going to, it's absolutely going to be unbelievable. Um, stay tuned. And then we'll have more, more, more training coming in the future. So uh, with that, guys, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Make sure you click that. You smash that notification bell if you haven't already smashed the notification bell. Make sure you go follow me if you're not following me on Instagram. And uh, guys, until the next video, uh, I look forward to, to seeing you. Well, I, I just look forward to seeing you in the next one.